I have to say thank you to all the kids that I met in Ottawa and specifically a few. So there are some girls that I met at Mary Honeywell uh, Public School that was on the Friday and they make these bracelets. Aren't they super cool? They make these bracelets out of elastics and they gave me them. And basically they make them and they sell them and whatever donations or money they make, they give them to needy children around the world. And I thought that was just amazing. I think they were all maybe grade five, maybe grade four, super young, uh, already finding ways to help out and give back to other children. So I thought that was amazing. And then I went to York Street Public School that it might've been on, I think Tuesday or Wednesday. And I got a really cool card from a very creative student. And honey, I don't remember your name, um, it's not on the card, but also wanted to show that and say thank you. Uh, she presented that to Graham and I at the end of the assembly. Uh, Graham is who I presented with uh, from Right to Play. So I thought that was super awesome. And yes, I'm going to be posting it on my wall in my bedroom. Uh, and one of my most favorite things that I got in Ottawa, and it was, it almost made me cry. But you know, I had to keep it in. I had to, you know, thank God for waterproof mascara. But it was at York Street Public School and a student named Dinah Lee and her uh, teacher decided that at the end of the assembly, they were going to present me with something really awesome, something really different, really unique and very special. And so they basically said in 2004, they knew what I could have done and what I would have done. And there was no doubt in their mind that I would have achieved a medal and even a gold medal, they said. And they wanted to present me with their own gold medal that I would have gotten in 04, but a special one. So they had, they went in y'all, they went in. They had the Athens podium theme music. Amazing. They played that for me and presented me in this box on a podium in front of everybody, okay, with a medal, this medal. Isn't this amazing? It was in the box, they took it out, we shook hands, Diana Lee and I shook hands, and she presented me with this unique medal. It says York Street Public Schools, 2003-2014. It says my name, it's made of gold, there's a Mustang on it, amazing, and look at this. Look, look at that. Isn't that creative? But there's more, which really, I'm being dramatic, which I am, we all know that, but one of the most sincerest, most meaningful, sweetest things that have ever been done for me. So they presented this in front of everyone. It says, on behalf of York Street School, I would like to give you this unique gold medal for your courage and determination. You are a great inspiration for our young, mighty Mustangs. Ah! Go Mustangs! And thank you, Dinah Lee, and thank you to your wonderful teacher for, um, for presenting me with this. Honestly, I want to go to bed with it. I don't even know if I'm going to take it off. You know, anytime my boss is trying to get at me at my new job, I'll be like, have you seen my Mustang medal? Pause. Just pause. Okay. I want to say thank you to all the kids of Ottawa. You guys inspired me. It was an honor to share with you. And again, I can't thank Right to Play enough for giving me a platform like this. A platform that I just, um, I find so meaningful in my own life that resonates sincerely and truly. And is something that I, I will continue to work for. And, um, and I'm very, very passionate about, I think even more passionate about. So if you guys haven't seen the CBC documentary of, um, Adam Vancouver and I traveling to Benin, Liberia with Scott Russell. Um, it's online. I'll link it here somewhere, but it's online and you can check it out. Anyways, I love you guys for watching. Thank you for being in my corner. Thank you for supporting me. Uh, thank you for supporting me into this next life. Because sometimes as, as athletes, our identities are, are as being athletes. And I'm having a really hard time changing my signature line because it says everything that I've done, pretty much Olympian, world champion, medalist. And my girlfriend was like, Perdita, you need to delete that honey boo. That's in the past now. You need to change it. And I'm just having such a hard time changing it. And it, it's fancy, it's great to say journalist, or video broadcaster, or media, whatever I'm going to be. But it's just really a little bit hard. In print, not on the track, 
but it's kind of hard in print to let go of uh, of the past. But I'm going to do it. New life, new adventures. And I'm loving that you guys are going to support me into the next chapter. And, and just stay tuned because, like I said, there's a lot of delicious things to eat. So if you know of a delicious thing that you think I should eat, my challenge to you is to throw it my way and let me know. Because I will be eating it. I will be eating it. All right. Love you guys. Bye.